NFTs and all my crypto is green. So Justin, what was crypto like back in 2013? What was your story in the beginning? So 2013 was was very different from 2017, like a 2017 bull run and then this last bull run. And that there wasn't a lot of content for newbies. I didn't have like a mentor or somebody to kind of guide me through crypto. I literally just kind of Googled my way through it. I had this casual interest. I saw the price go up and down and I was like, what, what is this Bitcoin thing? And then finally one day I was like, okay, I'm going to do it. I'm going to jump into crypto and I'm going to figure out how to buy some Bitcoin. And I just kind of went from there. You were in crypto in 2013. You've probably seen all these up and down cycles, right? Was it easy for you to pick up on the NFT market when it started booming? No, not at all. I was anti-NFT for a long time. I remember when Crypto Kitties came out. I was like, okay, this is cool. Maybe there'll be some innovation there. But I never really paid attention to it. I wasn't until about summer 2021 where I was like, okay, like all my technology instincts are telling me that this is a market with something to it. And I need to humble myself and really like take the time to learn what's going on here. And once I did, I was like, okay, this is the thing. I, I really like this. When I bought my first real nft that was part of a community i was like okay this is this is different this is something really cool i saw you talk about frank moving from solana to eat slash polygon what's your thoughts on that i thought solana was cool i thought it was going to do really well next cycle now it's kind of like on rocky ground we'll see how it goes and i feel like frank's doing an excellent job i really like uh the youth project i think the art's really good there Polygon is very interesting. I actually looked at putting my project on Polygon. It's interesting that he put one on ETH and one on Polygon. So I'm kind of rooting for it to see how it turns out. I, I think it'll turn out well for him. I think it was a brilliant move on Polygon's part. I think they got a really good deal, to be honest. And I, I know that sounds crazy because, you know, the number I, I saw was $3 million. But honestly, I think we're going to see in a couple of years from now that a lot of these companies that are building these NFT projects are going to be worth tens if not hundreds of millions of dollars. And to have them on your network, the money that Polygon will make in transaction fees over the next year or two is going to more than cover that. Having more innovation on that that chain is definitely a, a pretty good investment. So I think it's a really, really smart investment on, on Polygon's part. And I think it's going to work out well for me. What is it about Frank as a founder that really you know, makes you believe in him. To me, a successful NFT project has to have two fundamental things. That's art and community. And he really nails both. I think the God's art is okay. He definitely stepped up when he did youths. I, I think the, the youths art is, is really, really good. But the community is what makes it like next level. I met some people in real life who are members of the youths community. This was when it first came out and they were pretty gung ho about it. They were pretty excited about it. There's a lot of energy. There's a lot of like connections. I think that's a key piece of having a successful NFT project. The reason punks and apes, you know, became so influential is because you found these influencers who have like adopted them. We haven't had that in the Moonverse community. It's a little bit unique because it it leaves it skews a little more techy for me. It's part of my drive. Like I feel very comfortable in that community. The people I've met, they're all super super talented. So it's really only a matter of time before we get a lot of really successful people that come out of the Moonverse community because it's so techy. Like it doesn't have the same mass market appeal. So maybe that's why it hasn't performed quite as well. But I think what's going to happen is with time, there'll be enough really successful people that more and more people are going to want to join in the community. Do you want to talk a bit about anything that you're working on right now or building? I'm working on uh, my first NFT project. It's called Rogue. I actually started it with uh, one of my best friends I've known since since junior high. It's a very interesting project. We're, we're calling it a nostalgia project. So it's reimagining life in the 90s. So we, it's all about 90s culture. There's a lot of very specific 90s references that, that people who are my age, I think will really resonate with because I, I, I can tell that they like the 90s a lot. It's a very arts-focused NFT project. So we've got... The art of the actual NFTs that I think people are really going to really appreciate. But there's also other components. So we got some physical art. There's a little bit of music in it. There's some collaborations in the works. So if you're a fan of the 90s and that was like your your time, your coming of age time, I think we got a lot of stuff in there that that's really going to resonate with people. This channel is intended purely for educational purposes and does not constitute financial or tax advice. 100 NFTs in 
and all my crypto is green. I'm watching Gary V on TV. What do you mean? She wear Gucci and Louis, but her favorite Celine. My old school is old, but I keep that shit.